This is our brand new 12 row John Deere corn head. Just brought it home today. Thought I'd show you how it works a little bit, give you a tour. We've had eight row heads for a long time and now we're going up to a 12. Let's see how it works. See the hole right here? That's of course where the combine kind of plugs in. You got a drive shaft on either side and that's how the whole machine is powered is through PTO off the combine and got this what you call a single point connection that plugs into the combine takes care of all your hydraulic and electrical auger in here at the back of the head that's what pulls all the corn here to the center to go into the feeder house on the combine we'll go around to the front the 612C that's for 12 rows our old one was a 608C all the snouts are up for transport so it's skinnier I got a couple down to show you how it works corn row comes in through here gathering chains they'll pull the stalks back two snap rolls here they'll spin both in towards the center these are knife rolls you can see they get pretty tight there together the corn stalk will go through there and it'll get pinched and cut and pulled down the corn stalk for the most part actually doesn't go through the machine you just want uh, ears and get a few leaves for the most part um, but the stalk doesn't run through the machine it's actually processed here and the action from these will help damage the stalk a little bit and start the decay process going into the following year There's two rubber flaps I call those ear savers you get ears bouncing around these will save them from popping out between the rows on a couple of the snouts you'll have these they'll hang down those are attached to a switch that controls your automatic height control we'll set the height we want to run and the combine will find that automatically and it will also tilt left and right on unlevel ground and keep the head cutting as efficiently as possible and taking away some of you trying to keep up and do it yourself those two bars up there those are tied into the GPS on the combine and we'll keep it perfectly straight down the row uh, this will be our first time having these on a head you can see the corn stalk will slip between those and if we get off track a little bit these are tied into the electronics and we'll keep the corn head bumped left or right and stay right on the row so it's pretty simple there's a lot to it unless you know how it works here's the underside of those snap rolls a little bit longer 50 percent wider i guess than our old one be a couple months before we get to put it to work but that'll be pretty exciting to go start running 12 rows instead of eight we also have a new platform a flex draper for cutting soybeans and wheat so maybe i'll get a video on that too explain how that works thanks for watching